hello students hope you all are doing good so today we will see the concept of array of object in c++ okay so basically array of object is creating more than one object of similar type okay it is known as array of objects okay so when we create n number of objects but all the objects belongs to the same class okay it belongs to the same entity the entity here is class then we can say we have categorized it as an array of objects so how we will just see with the help of an example so our main aim is okay the aim is to display the record of more than one student so i have just created a small program okay that contains the information of a student okay so this program will work only for a single student okay so the main idea behind this program is it will just take some inputs okay that is it can take the input as the name of the student the course the roll number the marks in different subjects and it will just based on certain criteria or based on certain processing it will just okay print the grades of the students okay and but the but there is okay you can say there is a flaw in this program that if i have to print okay the records of let us suppose 10 students or 100 students then there is some okay problem in this program so we will see what is the problem is and how we will just change or how we will just you can say sort out the problem okay here i have just created a class student and inside this class i have just taken some data members like the name and the course okay these are of type string i have taken a roll number of type integer i have taken marks okay i have just taken four marks you can take 5 6 7 as you wish okay so these marks are of type double i have taken a member total for the totaling of the marks and i have taken a member or a data variable that is per this is for percentage calculation okay so i have also taken these variables as of type double grade is a data member that is of type character so if the grade is okay if the percentage is let us suppose greater than 80 then the grade will be a and so on so it will be printed like this okay so in the public section i have just taken input data so this input data is a member function that is used to get the input okay that is used to take the input from the user so i have just taken okay the input like name course roll numbers and marks in the different subjects okay so there are four subjects in which i'll be inputting the marks okay so for the grade calculation i have taken another member function as grade cal okay so this is a member function that is grade cal that is used to calculate the grade of the student so the business logic is working inside this grade cal okay so this grade cal will just sum up the marks in different subjects and it will store these marks in a variable that is total that is of type double okay and the percentage calculation will be total okay into 100 by the total number of marks okay that is if there are four subjects then i have i've just calculated the marks is 400 okay so if the percentage is greater than equal to 80 so this is an if else ladder okay this is an if else ladder so if this condition holds true okay so if the percentage is greater than equal to 80 then grade a will be printed and all the all rest of these conditions will be bypassed okay else if this condition holds true then this condition will be work okay and the grade b will be printed all other conditions will be bypassed if third condition is true then grade c will be printed rest of the condition will be bypassed else if this fourth condition is true so grade d will be printed if all of these conditions are false then else grade f will be printed so if the percentage didn't fall in these categories then all these conditions are false and the grade f will be printed okay so this is an if else ladder okay so this you have studied in the your earlier classes of c it is same okay so now for displaying the information i have just created okay a member function okay so i have just defined this member function as show info that is used to display the information okay of the student so the information that will be printed is the name of the student the course the roll number the percentage and the grade okay so based on the basis of the percentage the grade is being calculated okay that we have calculated in that particular member function grade cal so in this main 
so what we'll do in this means so this is the skeleton so now i'll be okay demonstrating you that how we will be accessing these all member functions and all these parameters so what i'll do okay i'll just create okay an object of type student okay so if i want okay to you can say input so what i have to do i have to just call this input data on this student object okay so as soon as this input data will be called so all the information related okay inside this in input data will be entered by the user so for calculation of grades what i'll do i'll just call a method that is grade cal okay so if this method will be called then the internal business logic that we have written inside the grade calculation will be okay processed and to display the information okay what i have written i have created a function show info so this when this particular show info will be called so the information or the overall information that we have okay that we want to see as an output will be displayed that's the name code roll number percentage and grade so if i try to run this code okay i'll just show you if i try to run this code so it will just ask for the name i'll just write a j courses for example btech okay Roll number is one zero one zero. For example, the marks in different subjects. For example, marks are seventy seven, eighty eight, okay, fifty six, and sixty five. So the calculation has been done, and the information that has been displayed, the output that has been displayed is the name, the course, the roll number, the percentage it has calculated, and on the basis of this percentage, it has calculated the grade. Okay, but the major problem in this program is this is. only for a single student okay this is a single record that we have processed but if i want that to print the records of three students okay if i want the records of more than one student then what i have to do okay so in order to print the records of three students i have to create okay three different objects here okay so one object i have created so i have to create two different objects okay so this st1 now this st1 will be responsible okay for accessing the records okay of the second student so if i want to call okay the required data if i want to access the required data okay with the help of this st1 then i have to invoke these member functions that is input data grade cal and show info on this st1 okay so i'll just see i'll just copy it okay all these and i'll just change the name as st1 okay i'll i'm just copying these and i'm just changing this to st1 okay and this is also st1 and this is also st1 okay so if i try to execute this program now okay so it will just say enter the name so i'll just type ajay courses for example btech okay roll number is let us suppose 34 marks let us suppose 55 66 and 88 okay and 66 so the the information of ajay has been printed now it has again asked for the record of the second student okay so if i just type ravi okay let us suppose the course is bba okay roll number is 556 okay i am just taking uh, some random values okay 77 88 99 for example okay and 66 so here the grade is a so now i have printed okay two records but in printing two records what is the thing i have to create the objects okay i have to create the object simultaneously and with the help of these objects i have to invoke each time okay i have to write each time that st1 dot input data st1 dot grade cal st1 dot show info so for example if there are 100 students then if i create okay st1 to st100 then for each 100 okay for each 100 objects i have to call the input data grade cal show info and it it is a tedious task okay it is you can say it, it is making our program more complex okay the complexity is increasing because creating 100 objects okay and invoking each object okay each member function with that particular object it will take okay huge amount of time so in order to reduce this okay in order to reduce this thing okay c++ has come up with a concept that is known as the array of objects okay in which you will create an array okay so what i'll do i'll if i for example if i want to okay access or to store the information of three students so i'll just create okay the array of object like this student that is the class name okay the name of the object and i'll just pass the size okay so this is you can say this is array 
of object I have created for these three students. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll just okay use the for loop okay in order to access the particular member function. So I'll just write for i and t okay i equal to zero i is less than three i plus plus c out enter details of okay and here i'll write i plus one okay and i'll just give it a space and inside this i'll write student okay so for each student i have to okay call this and i'll just put a new line here and what i'll do i'll just call okay so how i will call the member functions now because i'm using array okay so how it can be called it can be called like st of i okay st of i dot so this is the calling mechanism okay so first the function is input data so i'll just call it the calling will be same okay so there is no change in calling st of i dot input data it means that when loop will be executed then st of zero dot input data it means first record will be okay accessed okay the record of first student will be accessed and in the similar way i will just write st of i grade can okay so it has come up here so this is the thing okay so now in order to okay this is for getting the information now what i will do i have to okay display the information also so in order to display the information i'll just write the loop as it is so i will just write inside this the loop is being maintained and inside this i will write c out okay detail of and here i will write i plus 1 and student okay and i'll just give e and d okay so i'll just put some new line also so that it is in a readable format okay so okay so what i will do i have to display the information so for displaying i what i have to do i have to call st of i dot okay the display is show info okay so show st of i dot show info this is the method okay so this is the method i have invoked okay so this is it okay this is it so it it has made our task okay more easier okay the concept has been eased now okay in spite of creating different objects and invoking each time with the different member functions it will take huge amount of time and in this we have just used two loops and we have just called the functions okay inside the loops and the task is you can say easier it is much more easier so i have just okay i have to just close this so all these are closed okay so now i will try to okay execute this so let's try to see if is it working fine okay now it has worked fine it has successfully compiled so yes execute it so it has come okay so here you can see it says that enter details of first student so it is in a readable format okay so now as we have to okay print this the details of three students so first of all i will just write ajay the course is for example btech okay the roll number is let us suppose 20 the marks are okay let us suppose 44 55 66 and 22 again it says that enter details of second student so the name is ravi okay course is bba okay roll number is 56 the marks are okay 55 sorry 5 let us suppose it is 5 now 66 77 and 88 details of third student okay so the name is akash the course name is for example mtech okay roll number is let us suppose 1 21 the marks in different subjects okay 77 88 99 and 88 so here you can see okay here you can see the output is the details of a student the name is ajay course is btech roll number 20 it has calculated the percentage as 46.75 and the grade has been assigned as d again it has printed the information of second student like ravi bba 56 percentage 59 and grade as c for the third student it has printed name akash course mtech roll number 121 that we have provided percentage is ap it has calculated and the grade is a so in this way okay we can implement array of objects in c++ and it has okay it will make our program much more 
okay you can say easier and the complexity is being reduced here okay so we need not have to write all those steps that we are writing okay so i hope it is clear to you now thanks